Hey everyone, today I will show you how to start a new TypeScript project from scratch in the fastest way that I know. And all you need is Node. Let's get into it. First, we will open our terminal and then we will create a new project by calling npm init y. The y stands for yes and will answer all the wizard questions with a yes. The result is a package JSON file to which we can add a development dependency by calling npm install or npm i as a short version and then dash dash capital D TypeScript. This will install TypeScript as a development dependency, so that's why we used dash dash D and we can see it here now listed in our package JSON file. In our local node models directory, we will see now TypeScript and we get a link in the .bin directory to the TypeScript compiler TSC. With the npx command, we can run executables from the .bin directory. So using npx tsc dash dash version, we'll execute our local TypeScript version and report version 493 to us. Having TypeScript locally available, we can create a TypeScript configuration by calling npx tsc dash dash init. This generates a standard TypeScript configuration named tsconfig.json that has certain compiler options already predefined. We also get to see a lot of additional options and their explanations, so I recommend you to read that later. And for now, I will use the sort everything plugin to alphabetically sort the options and remove the comments. I can do that by simply going back to the file, hitting a shortcut, and then we will see a much cleaner compiler options object. We will use this configuration and continue our journey. Having our compiler options in place, we can finally write some TypeScript code. So I will create a new file and just put it in the source code directory and name it main.ts. For the demo, I will simply do a console log statement and I will say hello from TypeScript. Now that we have this statement in place, we can compile the TypeScript code to JavaScript by simply calling tsc. Of course, we have to put npx up front, otherwise our local TypeScript compiler won't be found. When the compilation is successful, we can see the emitted JavaScript code. The JavaScript code can be executed by calling node and passing it the pass to the JavaScript file. We finally can see hello from TypeScript on the command line and have created our first TypeScript project in under three minutes. This deserves a bonus chapter, so let's make our code also work in the browser. I will create an index.html file and put some valid HTML code here. I will just copy over some HTML5 boilerplate and then we can create a script section within the head section. In the script section we can reference our source code. And remember, we are in a browser, so we can't run TypeScript natively, only JavaScript will be able to run so we will reference our main.js file. Having that in place, we can head over to the run and debug functionality of VS Code. It will start the browser for us and it will include our index.html file. Now we can check the console for our log statement. And there it is, hello from TypeScript straight from the browser. To speed up our development workflow, I want to show you TypeScript's watch mode. So let's get back into the terminal. From the terminal, we can execute our local TypeScript compiler with the option W. The W option stands for watch and will start TypeScript in watch mode. This means that TypeScript will listen for updated TypeScript code and then automatically compile the JavaScript code. We can test that by changing our TypeScript code. I will just place a smiley here and we won't call TSC manually, but just rely on the watch mode. And yeah. We saved the TypeScript file and we got the JavaScript file compiled. If we check our browser, then we can also see the update once we reload the web page. And yeah, there's our smiley right in our browser. The automatic compilation from the watch mode will increase our development speed a lot because we don't have to call TSC every time we change our TypeScript code. Also make sure that you call TSC with npx in the front, otherwise TSC might not be found. It would only be found if you have installed TypeScript globally, but I suggest to just use the local versions using npx tsc.